What's up you guys? I'm Roshni Sangmi. I'm a fitness expert and a plant-based sports nutritionist. Today we are going to discuss about lifestyle changes which can help you manage symptoms of PCOS and PCP. PCOS affects millions of women around the world and it could lead to irregular periods, painful periods, not being able to conceive, insulin resistance and multiple other factors. PCOS actually is induced because of four different reasons and it is important to know what caused your PCOS but irrespective of what caused it, these lifestyle changes will help you manage your symptoms. I've also worked with clients where I've seen the cyst size reducing and inflammation completely going, being able to have regular periods and even conceive a child. So let's get started. Now, to understand PCOS, you need to understand a compound called AGE, also known as Advanced Glycation End Product. Now, AGEs, when exposed to heat, become toxic and cause chronic diseases like PCOS and PCOS. The way they do this is by increasing oxidative stress in the body basically leading to aging and inflammation. If you are not consuming a lot of food which is anti-inflammatory and antioxidant, then PCOS symptoms are going to get worse. Let's further dig into aging. When they did research, they found that women with PCOS have twice as much AG as other women. Twice as much. That's really bad. So the most logical thing obviously to do would be leading a lifestyle which is very low in AG or consuming food which is very low in AG but also consuming food which reverses some of the effects of the AG is already caused. So it reverses the effects of oxidation and inflammation already caused in the body. How do we do that? Let's discuss the lifestyle changes. Number one, most important, smoking. Smoking increases AGE drastically and this could be passive smoking, this could be shisha or hookah um, or even cigarette smoking. So first thing in terms of reversal is drop smoking and even passive smoking. Number two, changing your cooking methods. Now boiling versus deep frying. Boiled food and deep fried food, even if it's the same exact food like broccoli, when you're deep frying the food, it doubles the amount of AG in the food. So you want to switch your cooking method from deep frying or broiling and more towards steaming and boiling. Um, in fact, it's so dangerous that even a single meal, just a single deep fried meal you have over the weekend can drastically cause inflammation in the body and increase AG. So think about this, like one bad meal over the weekend and a few sessions of passive smoking throughout the week and your PCOS is not going to reverse. You have to stay away from it. Number three is including food which reverses some of the effects of the seed, the AGEs in the body. And that would be including brown rice and mushroom specifically. So make sure you're having two or three servings of mushroom and brown rice throughout the day. Maybe still frying the mushrooms and brown rice as your main source of carbohydrates. And that's gonna help and that's gonna help you reverse some of the symptoms of ACLs. Number four, spearmint tea. It's so simple, it's literally so simple. Two servings of spearmint tea had throughout the day, one in the morning and one in the evening. One in the morning around 11 a.m. in between your two meals, breakfast and lunch, and one in the evening around 4 p.m. between lunch and dinner, just plain spearmint tea. Spearmint tea has benefits in terms of reversing effects of PCOS and the symptoms of PCOS in the body. Now, if you want more details and more lifestyle changes, make sure to check out my detailed blog out, which I'll link below. Um, where I've linked a lot of studies and also helps you in terms of understanding what causes PCOS and how best to reverse. I really hope this video was useful to you and you got something out of it. If you did, please leave a comment below. Please follow my YouTube channel. It gives me more motivation to do videos like this and cheers guys. Have a good day. Bye.